Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to look at tables. And so tables are a way of organizing data. They allow us to interpret the data in an easier way. Uh, we can make conclusions faster, stuff like that. And so let's dive right in. Example number one. So we have a list of numbers here. And so we can create a table that has each number has what frequency? How often does it appear? So number zero appears one, two times like that. Number one appears four times like that. And four, three, two, two, one, one, like that. And so now it's easily, uh, it's easier to see that the most common numbers are one, two, and three that appear in that list. That's just an example of how we can use data. Practice number one. So Julie works at a restaurant and got tips from her customers. And so here's a lift, list of tips that she received. And so this here is 3103. Okay, that uh, looks a little sluggish like that, but that's how, what it's there. 31035, etc. So before we answer any questions, go ahead and complete the table below. Okay, we're back. And so we see here tip amount from 0 to 2 was 3. 3 to 5, 9, 6 to 8, 4, 9 and above, 1 time. So here are some questions for you to ask. A, how many times was she tipped $6 or more? And B, what percentage of tips were 3 to $5? Go ahead and pause the video and answer that. Okay, so how many times 6 or more? So we have 4 plus 1, 5, 5 times. B, what percentage of tips were 3 to 5? So 3 to 5 was 9. So it's 9 out of the total amount of 17. And we saw in our percentage video that this is how we convert to percent. So 9 out of 17 is 52.94% like that. Okay, practice number 2. So this table shows how often people take the bus route 95 uh, throughout the week. Right, so we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and at different times throughout the day. And so now here we have a bunch of questions. Uh, I can't put the table and the questions in the same frame. So if you want, go ahead and pause the video and copy down these questions, and then I'll bring the table back. Or you can take a photo of the questions with your smartphone if you're watching it on a computer. Okay, so those are the questions, and again, this is the table. Okay, so A, how many people are taking the bus on Monday at 9 a.m.? So we look at here, Monday 9 a.m., 3.50. B, how many people are taking the bus on Friday at 6 p.m.? That was 300. C, what day and time has 100 people taking the bus? So we look on our table looking for 100. We have that here. Saturday 8 a.m. or Sunday at 10 a.m. are the two possible answers. D. Give a date and time where the bus is at its busiest. So when we look all over here, we see that 375 is the highest time. So as long as you give a date and time that has 375, that's correct. So for example, Tuesday at 9 a.m., that's one example. E, looking at Wednesday, what percent of the time is the route at 300 or more? So we look at Wednesday and we look for how many times 300 appears. It appears six times out of 12. And so it's 300 or more 50% of the time. And then F, Looking at Saturday, what percent of the time is the route at 175 people or less? So we go ahead, look at Saturday, 175 or less. We count that up, and that gives 7, total out of 12. And so that percentage is 58.3. And that's it. It's that easy. I'll see you guys in the next video.